the momentum section of the 2020 physics paper starts with question 1.1 of multiple choice which reads the rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the and the rate of change of momentum we know deals with the impulse formula where it can be either written as f net times the change in time is equal to the change in momentum or it can be written as f net is equal to delta p over delta t now this question here asks for the rate of change of momentum which refers to delta p over delta t the rate of anything is always divided by the amount of time in which case we are dealing with the second formula here which says that the rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the net force which makes option b the correct answer to 1.1 Question four reads, ball P of mass 0.16 kilograms moving east at a speed of 10 meters per second collides head on with another ball Q of mass 0.2 kilograms moving west at a speed of 15 meters per second. After the collision, ball P moves west at a speed of five meters per second as shown in the diagram below. And question 4.1 asks us to define the term momentum in words and the correct definition as per the guideline document is momentum is the product of an object's mass and its velocity. Question 4.2 asks us to calculate the velocity of ball Q after the collision. And what's important to start with here is to realize that we need to declare a certain direction as positive. I have chosen to choose to define east as my positive direction again. That is not necessary you could have chosen west and still gotten the correct answer i am going to for these calculations use east as my positive direction and then we need to realize that this collision involving momentum means or Im implies that momentum is conserved and since momentum is conserved we would start by answering question 4.2.1 with the statement that shows that we know that the sum of the initial momentums is equal to the sum of the final momentums. What that means is that the initial momentum of the object P, which is the mass of that object multiplied by the initial velocity of that object, plus the initial momentum of object Q, which is the mass and initial momentum of that object must be equal to the mass of object P multiplied by the final velocity of object P plus the mass of object Q multiplied by the final velocity of object Q. We can then substitute the values that we have been given the mass of object P as 0.16 kilograms. The initial velocity of object P is 10 meters per second east, so positive. The mass of object Q given as 0 0.2 and the initial momentum of object Q 15 meters per second, but that is west, therefore negative 15. And that is then equal to the mass of object P, which remains unchanged, but object P is now heading at five meters per second in the negative direction, negative five west, and multiply that again by the mass of object Q, and the final velocity of object Q, which is our unknown. And that then tells us that the final velocity for Q is equal to negative three. And we always write that in the positive form. So we would end by writing that as three meters per second, the negative direction then being west. Question 4.2.2. Calculate the magnitude of the impulse on ball P during the collision. where we know that the impulse is the product of an object mass and, excuse me, the impulse is the product of an object's net force and time, and that is equal to the change in momentum for the object. So F net delta T is equal to the change in momentum, and they've asked for the impulse on object P. So we can look at the change in momentum for object P, and that would be the mass of object P multiplied by the final velocity minus the initial velocity of object P, where the mass again was given as 0 0.16. The final velocity 
was negative five. Again, we are still using east as our positive direction. The final velocity was west, so therefore negative five minus the initial velocity of 10 meters per second east. And that then tells us that the impulse is then negative 2.4. And we write that in the positive form, therefore, as 2.4 Newton seconds. And because it was the negative direction, we would say that that impulse would be west, although we do not need to give a direction because this question has only asked for the magnitude of the impulse. When marking a question like this, the definitions are given as per or given as expected in the guideline document. And so it's important to get those as close as possible to that given definition. Question 4.2.1, the first mark is allocated for starting out with a formula that explains or that shows that we understand that momentum is conserved. And then there is a mark allocated to the correct substitution on either side where the big important factor is that we show that we understand that one direction is positive and the other is negative. And that does not depend on which direction you have chosen. If you chose west as positive, you would still get that mark. But it is important to show different momentums or different velocities have different directions. And then the final answer is one mark for the magnitude with the correct units once again and one mark for the direction. That is the five marks for question 4.2.1. And question 4.2.2, there's once again, one mark allocated for starting with a formula, a formula that is as given in the formula sheet, either F net delta T is equal to delta P, or we can go straight to the M delta V. And then again, one mark for our correct substitution and one mark for the correct answer with the correct units important here, that when we are asked for the impulse, the unit is given in Newton seconds. If we were asked for the change in momentum, the magnitude would remain exactly the same as 2.4, but then it would be a momentum and that would therefore be kilogram meters per second. So the units for impulse are Newton seconds, where the units for change in momentum are kilogram meters per second.